We are walking. Aha. Ooh. We are wobbling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are tiptoeing. And we are exploring. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. ang STEM ay makikita kahit saan. Everywhere we go, there's a little bit of science, technology, engineering, Whoa! and math hiding around us. Mahuhulaan nyo kaya kung ano ang mahahanap natin ngayon. So grab your shoes, grab your binoculars. It's time for our <laughs> STEM adventures to... Ta-da! The Jurassic World Experience at Gardens by the Bay. Whoa! A place filled with giants from the past. Tama, Ate Fifi! Simulan na natin ang ating pakikipagsapalaran sa agham! This exhibition is held inside the Cloud Forest Conservatory. This is intentional because the cool, misty environment and the diverse plant life of over 72,000 plants perfectly replicate the tropical montane regions where many ancient plants would have existed. Today, we are going to learn about the incredible diversity of living things. Even though they've been extinct for millions of years, dinosaurs are a perfect way to understand how animals are different and how we can classify them. Whoa! Yippee! Hindi na ako makapaghintay! Tara na mga kaibigan! Oh, and parents, this exhibition is free for all children under 3 years old. Ooh, Mimi, it looks like we've left the books behind and traveled millions of years back in time. I can't wait to see the different types of dinosaurs. I heard that we can spot the Brachiosaurus, the Comsognathus, baby dinosaurs, and even the Velociraptor here. Ooh, look over here, Mimi. This small but mighty dinosaur is called a Stigmolock. What do you notice about its head? Wow! Parang nakasuot ng salakot ang ulo nito. At mayroon din siyang matatalim na tinik. That's right, Mimi. Its name even means demon from the river Styx because of that spiky bony dome on its head. Now, scientists think it used that hard skull for headbutting matches with its rival or to protect itself. Woo! Now, Mimi, the first way we can classify animals is by what they eat. Nyam, 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 nyam. Ang mga dinosaur na ito ay kumakain lang ng halaman. Kaya sila ay tinatawag na herbivoro. Ninunguyan nila ang mga dahon gamit ang kanilang malalagaring ngipin. Pero minsan, kumakain din sila ng mga insekto. The stigmolog is a perfect example of how different animals are. This dinosaur eats plants, and even though it was a small dinosaur, its unique spiky head was a special adaptation that helped it to survive. Let's continue on our Jurassic walk, Mimi. <laughs> it's so misty. 
these frosty blue streamers lead us into the magical crystal mountain. It isn't just a garden, it's a giant computer screen. This is where technology meets biology. When we walk, we leave little puddles on the floor. Wow, that looks just like the truck in the movies. Friends, did you know that the dinosaurs here can actually move? They are advanced animatronics or robots that move just like how actual dinosaurs would. Wow! Look! This floor has motion sensors and the walls use projection mapping to detect our movements. We can activate motion art here. Art that moves. How cool! Oh my goodness, Mimi! Look at this giant! This is the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, also commonly known as the T-Rex. It had huge, sharp teeth, perfect for tearing meat. This makes the T-Rex a carnivore. Whoa! Ang talas ng mga ngipin nito! Karniboro ang tawag sa mga kumakain lamang ng karne. Di ba, Ate Fifi? Exactly. So remember, we can classify animals as either carnivores, which are meat eaters, or herbivores, which are plant eaters. Now, there are also animals which are omnivores. These are animals that eat both meat and plants. Over 50 species of plants in this cloud forest can trace their lineage back to the Jurassic period. These include ferns, and conifers that herbivore dinosaurs like the Brachiosaurus would have eaten. Wow! Oh, this misty environment is similar to what the dinosaurs lived in during the Jurassic period. We can pretend that we are actually in the same period as them. Ang mga herbivoro ay kumakain ng mga halaman. Karne naman ang kinakain ng mga karniboro. Omniboro naman ang tawag sa mga kumakain ng halaman at karne. Mimi, don't blink! These are tiny comsognathus. They were only the size of a chicken, but they were super duper fast. Wow!
These tiny dinos were carnivores and they ate small, quick animals that they can easily catch and fit into their mouths, like lizards and insects. Another way we can classify animals is by their unique body features. These body features are not just for show, they have very important functions. These functions and body features are called adaptations that help them to survive. Tignan mo yun sa itaas. Ang Brachiosaurus ay may napakahabang leeg. Alam mo ba kung bakit? Nakakatulong kasi ang mahabang leeg nito na abutin ang mga matataas na dahon at sanga ng mga puno. Dahil sa kanyang mahabang leeg, hindi na nito kailangang makipagagawa ng pagkain sa ibang mas maliliit na dinosaur. Oh, that's why it could eat the tall leaves. How smart! Oh, Mimi and friends, look at that incredibly long tail. This tail acts as a counterbalance, helping the Brachiosaurus stay balanced while stretching its neck high up to reach its food. Kaya naman! Maaari din nating ipagbukod-bukod ang mga hayop sa ayon sa kanilang natatanging panlabas na katangian at kung paano ito nakatutulong sa kanyang pamumuhay. The Evolution Walk is unique to the Singapore Exhibit. It allows visitors to journey further back in time, even before the dinosaurs. We can learn how plant life evolved and what extinct prehistoric flora looked like. Wow! Breathe in all that fresh air, Mimi. Wow! Da da da! That is the world's largest waterfall, standing at 35 meters. Wow, look at all these eggs! Hmm, they look similar to the eggs that chickens lay today. They have to stay warm so that the baby dinosaur inside can grow, grow, grow. Oh, nagsimula din pala sa itlog ang dinosaurs. Nakakagigil. Yes, it's so cute! You're right, Mimi. All animals go through different stages of life, and this is called a life cycle. For dinosaurs, the life cycle starts in an egg. Kapag nabuo na dinosaur sa loob ng itlog, babalatan niya ito mula sa loob. Tinatawag natin iyan na pagpisa. At tingnan mo, pagkapisa nito, isa itong napakaliit na sanggol na dinosaur, katulad ng mga nasa mga incubator na ito.
This is a key part of the dinosaur's life cycle, from an egg to a baby. And it's not just dinosaurs. Many animals like birds or even crocodiles start their lives by hatching from an egg. Mayroon din tayong siklo ng buhay, di ba, Ate Fifi? Hindi nga lang tayo nang galing sa itlog. The Cloud Mountain is covered in plants called epiphytes, like orchids and ferns. These plants don't grow in soil. They get their water and food directly from the moist air and mist that is created by that very tall waterfall. And friends, if you're ever feeling hot in sunny Singapore, this cloud forest is the perfect place to chill. The temperature here is kept at a comfortable 23 to 25 degrees Celsius all year round. So you will always feel like you are in the tropical highlands. Wow, what an amazing walkabout, Mimi and friends. We learned so much today. We discovered how to classify dinosaurs and other animals as carnivores, herbivores, or omnivores based on what they eat. <laughs> Nalaman din natin kung bakit kakaiba ang kanilang mga katawan. May mahahaba ang leeg para madaling makakain ng dahon. At mayroon ding may mga tinik para protektahan ang kanilang sarili. Exactly! We saw how their unique bodies help them survive. And finally, we learned about the life cycles of dinosaurs, which started from tiny, tiny eggs before they became the giants that we see here today. Now friends, da -da -da -da, it's time for our final STEM mission. Now look at the dinosaur in this picture. What are some unique body features that help it survive? Tell us your answer in the comments below. Huwag niyong kalimutang mag-like at mag-subscribe para tuloy-tuloy ang ating pakikipagsapalaran sa agham. Bye-bye! Hanggang sa muli!